Hi there, welcome back to Crafting with Slavi. I am sharing another holiday card series card with you. I like to call this one Berry Winter Picnic because I'm punny like that. Not really, but it just seemed fitting and appropriate. Um, so I am using the large slim line to make my background again. And then I also used the slimline stitch hillside borders to make the other two um, panels that go on the front of this card. Now I'm using tumbled, tumbled glass distressing, pardon me, shaded lilac, and then milled vi wilted violet, my goodness, I can't even read anymore, um, to make my my color blended background there. I did go back over it with tumbled glass just to kind of try and blend it all out. And then for my little hillsides, I took Chip's blueprint sketch. Oh my goodness, I really need to go to bed or something. I don't know. Um, I took blueprint sketch and just went around the edge here. And you can see that I'm just using what's on my mat. Um, for the most part, not using a lot of ink because I didn't want it to get saturated um, like I did with a previous card because I am a little bit heavy handed, etc, etc. So after that was done, I um did some water splatters on the background and then i took tumbled glass and wilted violet and smooshed that on my media mat and i used that to make water droplets as well on the background and just use a piece of paper towel to kind of dry it off now for my um my snowy hillsides i took blueprint sketch smooshed it on my media mat and added some water and then use that for my water droplets and I really like how this turned out actually um, made me really happy so that kind of set my color theme for this card so before I sign off I just want to talk a little bit about this so I tried a new blend for Copics, it's BG70 and BG72, yes. And um, you would think that being that close together, they would work really well, but I actually found that the color difference was quite stark between them. They didn't want to blend very well. So a little note about how to make Copics blend. Um, you can see that I went around with BG72 and couldn't blend it out. So I'm actually taking the tip of BG70 and touching it to BG72 to take some of that um, some of that color to my page just to help blend it out. Now, I did end up switching to a different color combination for the rest of the bears because this was just it was taking the fun out of coloring for me. <laughs> no, no disrespect to those people who do that all the time. But I just had to switch because I was like, this is not fun. And that was how it started. This is a really heavy coloring card because there were so many components. So you got to make it fun for you. All right, I'm going to take a step back and I will be back for the assembly.
All right, so when the coloring was done, I needed to stamp my sentiment. I chose the sentiment from Winter Village, which said, what did it say? Holiday greetings with love from all of us. And um, I did end up using the sentiment banners from Lawn Fawn to cut it out, which I did off camera. You can kind of see them there. Just on white cardstock with um, silver embossing powder is what I used. So before I attached everything, um, again, this is a slimline card. So my card base was seven inches by eight and a half inches, and it was scored at three and a half inches on the seven inch side and folded in half to make a final card with dimensions of three and a half by eight and a half, which the large slimline panel attaches to perfectly. So, and that's the larger one of the two that are in that set. Um, I then adhered all of my pieces that needed to go together together and I did stamp um, Merry Xmas inside of the car um, license plate area and afterwards I realized that it was going to be covered up by the wreath so I didn't include that footage because I'm like mm, okay no big deal it was kind of crooked anyways so that's fine and then I decided that I want a dimension on this card. Um, so I popped up both of the snowy hillsides. And a little tip for you, when you are adhering these to your base panel, um, sit it up. So I like to line up my, my first panel um, with the card fold down on my work surface so that if there's anything to cut off it's on the loose end so it's easier to see and cut and work with and then when I'm adhering my hillsides it's actually really great so you don't have to modify the panel um, to adhere them when it's standing up on that edge like you saw me do and then because we have so much dimension all of my buildings which are from Winter Village I put um, a little bit of foam adhesive on the back and then used liquid glue as well to um, attach them to the little hillside. And I did that also for the bears, the car. Um, I think the only thing that is a flat attachment ended up being those few trees, which are not hanging over, and the lamps and I oh and um the the cloud smoky bits coming out of people's chimneys whatever they're called I can't think and um I also attached a few of the um snacks from crazy antics to the bears as well and then had the rest just laid out on the picnic um, blanket and that was my kid throwing garbage at me let's not talk about it <laughs> um, so once all that was done um, that's when I also adhered my little lamp posts because I wanted them to be visible but I wanted to make sure that my bears we're in there sorry that was my face and um yeah so that's pretty much it for this card i'll um take a step back and let you finish watching the rest of the assembly it's pretty simple just very uh, a little bit more time consuming than my other holiday cards so far and i think that this one actually ended up being my favorite so if you haven't yet please hit the subscribe button hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future videos and make sure you hit the like so that I know that you like this content and I can keep creating more of it for you. Thank you. Bye.